Hello, welcome back to The Everyday Professional. I'm Sean Spencer, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to produce the best AI prompt to help you create the ultimate business plan using ChatGPT5. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to produce a business plan for any business that you desire that's simple, easy to follow, and perfect for what you're doing. Ultimately, saving you hours and even days worth of time, research, and mistakes. Because the truth is, when it comes to creating your first business plan, it can be quite, eh, frustrating and intimidating because in most cases you have no idea where to start so what do we usually do we jump into google we start looking up business plans and what happens is we go to pictures or images and we find a business plan and we try to mimic it not understanding that each business plan is different for each business so what you might find in a business plan for a marketing company may not be what you need for a fitness company so what happens is people get intimidated they start following whatever they see and ultimately they create something that has nothing to do with their business, it's overcomplicated, and after about a few days, they don't follow it all together. However, the good news is, if you have the right prompt or prompt sequence, ChatGPT5 can actually help guide you through creating the perfect business plan to help you move your business along and have success. But the key thing is asking the right questions, giving the right information, and also making sure the information is detailed and clear. And today, that's what we're going to cover, and we're going to do it right now. Okay, so when it comes to getting the best result using ChatGPT or any other AI platform, it's all about the instructions that you give the ChatGPT, or in other words, the prompt that you give it in order to get the information that you need. The more detailed, the better the response will be coming from ChatGPT because you've given it more information to go off of. Okay, so now we're going to jump over to my screen. This is one of my test accounts. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few sequences that are going to help you produce the best results. So for example, I'm going to go over to my notes. All right. And we're going to focus on this first part here. Now, I'm going to take this. We're going to drop this over into here. All right. Now you can read it. It's going to say, act as a business strategist with over 50 years of experience working with multiple seven and eight figure businesses. I want you to create a simple business plan, a simple business plan outline for a, whatever your business type is, targeting busy professionals. I want this business plan to be detailed, but not overwhelming. Now, these are some of the key things you want to put in your request because ChatGPT will absolutely overwhelm. You. Most AI platforms will overwhelm you because you haven't gotten specific in what, is it, what it is that you want. And also another thing, if you notice, instead of me just saying, I want you to produce a business plan, I actually gave ChatGPT a role. If you look, I said, act as a business strategist with over 50 years of experience working with multiple seven and eight figure businesses. That is key because it gives it a profile, gives it a persona to act on. So ChatGPT will just say, okay, I am now functioning as a business strategist with over 50 years of experience working with seven, eight figure businesses. It, it, it really helps with producing a better result than you just say, hey, give me a business plan for my business. So now back to our prompt. And then, oh, also the last part, I want a plan and a guided layout for the first six months. So basically what you do, you want, it to, you want GPT to build you a plan that is detailed, but not overwhelming. You wanted to lay out the plan for the first six months. So before you hit enter, we're going to add something else to this because there's a second part which makes this prompt and which helps G Chad GBT give you the best information. It was that is asking you this question. For those who don't know how to add space and every time you hit the enter button, like you want to add a little bit of space, it starts wording. The way to avoid that is you hit shift and enter. And what that'll do, as you can see down here, it'll create space for you to continue with your prompts. So we don't need that much space. So, so the additional information that you're gonna add with this first part of the prompt is this. What information do you need? You're asking ChatGPT what information it needs to give the best response, which is very key because here you've given it a persona. Okay, you are a fifth, you have 50 years of experience. You're a business strategist. You've worked with seven eight figure businesses. Okay, I want a detailed plan. I need this. Now, in most cases, people just hit enter and just go right on. But by asking these clarifying questions, we're asking ChatGPT to give you a set of clarifying questions. This will make your prompt that much stronger and allow it to build you a better, more detailed business plan. And this can work with a lot of other things, but for today, we're talking business plan. So with this, we're gonna go ahead and hit enter now. So here we go. Here's the response, perfect. I can build you a lead, powerful business plan framework that balances clear clarity with action to do this. I'll need a few key details about your business and goals. And these are the questions that it is asking. So what we're going to do with this, the best way to do this so you don't end up messing up or throwing in a prompt too early or throwing in information too early, copy it. And then put it over into your notes. So if you're having 
and Mac. That's, that's you know, your Apple Notes section. So down here, and kind of like your response section here. So go ahead and copy that into here. Now from here, you're going to answer all of these questions in detail. Well, not too detailed, but give enough information so ChatGPT can help you out. So I'm going to drop these in real quick. All right, so I have these questions answered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them. I didn't write, there we go. Copy them. And then we're going to go back to GPT. And then we're going to drop in our answers. Now, before we drop in our answers, one of the things I like to do is just kind of just give it a little bit of push and say, okay, here are the answers to the questions that you gave them. And again, give a little shift return to give a little bit of space. All right, paste these in there. And then from here, we go ahead and just hit enter. And there you have it, guys. A great layout. It helps you with your vision, you know, become the go-to performer. So if I, I forgot to mention that I use myself as a business coach. So aside from doing YouTube videos, I'm also a business coach and I work with professionals helping them with anxiety, performance anxiety, stress, working under pressure, decisions under pressure, a, a lot of things like that, mindset and so on. So I went ahead and put in my information just to kind of, you know, make it simple. But here's the vision. Here's your mission. Help professionals adopt mental resilience and focus on Olympic athletes to perform at the peak. Well, yeah. I'm not working with athletes. I'm working more business professionals, but this can be kind of tidied up a little bit. Here's your target market, 2850, your offer. These are the monthly offers that we have. And then you can go and get in the prices. Like, okay, it already gave you a suggestion. If your goal is 50K, then your average client needs to be three to 6,000, aimed for 10 to 15 paying clients, six months. Then you hit your goal. Here's your market strategy, your sales strategy, operations. And here is your six month roadmap. Perfect. Is you build your foundations that first month. Second month, you're working on the authority section, meaning setting yourself as authority in the business. Then month three, your conversions, scale content, testimonials, optimizing sales flow, growth momentum. And there you have it. So this is basically just a quick way to produce the best profit when it comes to building a business plan for your business. Now, of course, asking similar questions for anything can help produce better results than just saying, hey, do this for me. So again, let's do a little bit of a recap. First, you want to give it as much information as you can about what your goal is. You want to give it a persona so it can act as the leader in whatever business you're in. So for example, we can use a fitness industry. If I'm a new fitness coach trying to build my business, I could say you are acting as a fitness specialist of 50 years. You have multiple certifications. You've worked with celebrities. You've worked with the best in the world. Give it that persona. That way ChatGPT starts to act and function as if it is actually a professional. Then you give it the goal. Then you say, give me something detailed, but not going to overwhelm me. After that, we drop in our question saying, what information do you need from me to give me the best result? And from there, here you have it, guys. This is it. Then this is easy. It's perfect. You can do this for any business. You can do this for it, pretty much any, any type of questions that you have. Give it information and then ask it what questions it needs from you, what information it needs from you in order to produce the best results. So that's my video for today, guys. I hope you enjoy. Again, this is all about just some quick AI tips to help you learn and use ChatGPT along with other AI platforms. Because they all work similarly, but similarly, but today we're using ChatGPT. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a couple comments. Let me know if you've already done this or this is your first time. Love hearing from you guys. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day.